Hey, it's Denise. Welcome to my humble abode. Today, I really wanted to try sharing some of my current favorite things in the world right now that I've been using a lot in terms of like productivity, in terms of back pain, shows I've been enjoying, anime I've been watching, just a whole bunch of stuff. This is a little bit different from my usual videos, but I thought this would be a really nice way to kind of like introduce myself, Denise, because there are some new viewers. Hello, thank you for joining in with me from Sarah's channel. It's been so nice to interact with you all in the comments. I've just been really enjoying just like talking to y'all. Hopefully this video introduces you to some things that you might also really enjoy. So let's go get started. I think we're gonna start off with food because I love food. I'm a foodie, okay? I have a huge bag of stuff that I've just been really enjoying. It's all in this Wii bag. And actually, I've just really been enjoying Wii. It's like this food delivery service that delivers Asian food, Mexican food, and a whole bunch of just varieties of food. So I've just really been enjoying it because it's really convenient. It's actually pretty affordable when you compare it to actually going to the grocery store. It's kind of almost the same pricing. I'm not sponsored, by the way, but I do have like a link and that will help my grocery bills but yeah that's basically why i have this bag <laughs> i've just been really enjoying it but in my little goodie bag i have my favorite instant noodle um uh, excuse me this is so incredibly good it's cup noodle seafood and mind you i do not like seafood i'm not a huge seafood girl like i can eat anything basically but seafood is just not really my thing i will eat it but i will not love it okay but this I love it, okay? And it, there's just something about it. There's little bits of seafood. I think there's some squid. There's just all sorts of textures in your mouth when you eat this. And it's just not very fishy. Like, you know, like seafood is fishy because it's from the ocean. I mean, it's fish, right? But this is different, okay? It's kind of like this like creamy, kind of like umami filled soup. And I already love like the original cup noodles, but this this is on another level, okay? Everybody has been saying that it's great, but I'm like, girl, is it really? Cause it's seafood. I don't know about that, okay? But I tried it and I'm telling you, you gotta try it too, okay? It's a little pricey, honestly. I think on Amazon, when I checked it again, it was like for a six set of these instant noodles, it was like $16 or something like that. I'm like, it's a lot for cup noodles, but you know, it's good. They don't even taste instant. They taste like authentic ramen noodles, but what do I know? What do I know? I don't know, it just tastes good. And next we have seaweed and I've been snacking on these like so, so, so much. They're so tasty. Now, if you don't like seaweed or you don't like seafood, you might not like this, okay? My friend does not like seaweed, but I love seaweed, okay? It's so nice to snack on. The funny thing is like, it's like a sheet of paper. It looks like a sheet of paper, but when you snack on it, actually I'll open it for you. I already brushed my teeth, dude. It's fine. I will do it for you guys, okay? But it looks like this and I, I mean, a lot of you already know what seaweed is but i've been eating this a lot it's so good these little pieces of papers are rather filling for some reason i don't know what it is but i also like to eat it with rice and stuff and i just like hold it up and i just eat it it's so good that's so good okay anyway but those are really good snacks if you're like playing games and stuff it's just like little finger foods you know nothing too crazy mm -hmm. Ugh. tossing my mess over there i'll clean it later I love me my teas, and I've been crazy about zest tea since I was in college. You know how it is when you're in college, okay? You're trying to cram all the information in your head, not sleeping all day. So mind you, sleeping is very important, okay? Do not do all-nighters. It's not healthy. I, I don't recommend it if you're able to, like, avoid it. But these did get me through college, okay? So I found out about this at a hackathon. It's like a computer science competition. Computer science geeks do not sleep, okay? Since I found out about these i've been using them a little pick me up because when i drink coffee i get really jittery anxious a little bit on edge but there's like a couple of products in their line they have the blue lady black tea and it's the passion fruit citrus this is my favorite flavor the old packaging is way cuter i'll have it on the screen right here but it is what it is i don't know they did something to the formula of this tea and it's not as good as it was before but it's still pretty good in terms of like ah like i'm awake okay but here's another flavor i've just been trying out this one's a new one uh it's called super berry samba green tea it 
is pretty good. I mean, I still like the Blue Lady Black Tea a lot better. I think the scent is a lot nicer, but my mom does not care for that scent, okay? But she loves the scent of this one. But mind you, she also does not drink super strong tea because she is very sensitive. <laughs> and this is the other product that I've been trying out as well. This is the hydration mix. This is the pineapple blueberry flavor, and it's kind of like a powder, like a stick pack. And you just basically pour this into like water or like maybe even sparkling water. So it kind of tastes like you're drinking soda. <laughs> Ooh, soda. But I really enjoy this because it tastes rather good and it does give me like a pretty steady flow of energy without staining my teeth because tea do be staining my teeth and it's not good i gotta go to the dentist i do not love dentists but i must but this also has l-theanine and alpha gpc so it allows you to have like steady alertness and i do feel that steadiness in this but it comes a lot faster with this product because you drink it way quicker than you drink tea obviously there's about 100 milligrams of caffeine in this as well i usually like to kind of pace myself so i don't drink it all at once because i'm kind of crazy i'll be like Ooh, right but i feel like this actually gives me a more steady amount of energy throughout the day than the tea does actually it, it makes me less jittery and apparently there's 700 milligrams of electrolytes hydration y'all so next up, I'm gonna go through some of the games that I've been really enjoying. First of all, if you know me, okay? I love my Nintendo Switch, okay? It's my love, it's my joy, okay? But I have to say, lately I have been picking up my Steam Deck a lot more, okay? Ooh, oh no, I know, oh, I'm a traitor. But this thing has been, oh my God, you can see my setup. <laughs> um, but this thing has been amazing in terms of how easy it is to pick up because everything is digital on this little platform. The issue with my Nintendo Switch is that I just feel kind of scared to get digital games on it because eventually, uh, the eShop for the Nintendo Switch is most likely gonna die in a couple years time after the Nintendo Switch has been tossed and new console is introduced into the Nintendo family. That's happened with the Wii, it's happened with a lot of systems, so I'm not super secure in my Nintendo Switch. Besides that, it's also just more expensive to buy games on Nintendo Switch most of the time. I definitely do love my Nintendo Switch, so I buy physicals and there's an issue with physicals as well. A lot of like Nintendo Switch physical games require online updates, so eh, there's some problems and there's some things that I love and dislike about Nintendo Switch. But I freaking love this thing because I have a lot of games on on the Steam, so it's just been really nice. And I love to like track all of the hours I have on the game. I love the, getting the little achievements, like the little pop pop pops. It's so much fun to see that and. And it just gives you a little like a serotonin boost, you know, like, or not serotonin. Is it serotonin or is it dopamine? But the one issue with the Steam Deck is that it's not as easy to kind of connect it to the TV. Um, it's not as fast as a Nintendo Switch. With a Nintendo Switch, you can just like easily dock it. You do have to configure it a little bit to look nice on the TV screen. And sometimes the controllers don't really work if you have an external controller with the Steam Deck. So please mind that. But I do love it still because you can kind of use it like a computer you can connect a dock and then from there using the dock let me see if i have that on hand okay so here is my dock love this thing this is my up brand dupe dock basically there's an hdmi port there's a USB-C port for energy and then three usb ports and what i usually do to play like maybe like pc games or even move files around from my steam deck onto like a usb or anything like that i just basically put in a usb here for my mouse or for my keyboard and that usually helps me kind of like navigate my steam deck which is very nice i really do enjoy this these doodads but other than that i also have been really enjoying this doodad yes it's the satisfy grip and this is something that a viewer has commented and they're like oh this thing is awesome and because i was complaining i think on my steam deck video that i didn't really enjoy the form factor of the nintendo switch because the corners kind of like dig into your hand after a while and i did not really enjoy that but 
this thing helps quite a bit, right? You just toss your little Nintendo Switch right in the middle. It does require a little shoving if you have like a little bit of like a bigger case on your Nintendo Switch, but it does still fit. This also fits the OLED Switch too. So this has been really great. It just feels really comfortable in the hands. So if you hold it like this, it feels like a regular controller. It has that rounded form that really feels good in the palms, especially after you've played the Nintendo Switch for a really, really long time, like sometimes I do. Since Tears of the Kingdom came out, I have been playing it. Favorite, 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 favorite game of all time this year. It's so incredibly good. I love Breath of the Wild. It's one of my first games on Nintendo Switch. It's dear to my heart and it's just like coming back home. But what Tears of the Kingdom does is do Breath of the Wild, but even better, okay? Because now there's all sorts of like little hidden caves that you can uncover. There are a bunch of towers, once again, and there's also a level underneath Hyrule's surface called the Deaths, as well as a lot of like islands in the sky and a whole lot of lore included in this new game. So I've just been really enjoying just kind of like running around, exploring all the new levels and seeing how the world has changed over time as this new enemy kind of like causes destruction all over Hyrule. It is my top game and 100% completely worth it even though it's a little pricey but totally worth it. Like all you need? Tears of Kingdom, man. All you need is this game right here. But next, let's get into some fun keyboard things, you know? A little clickety clackety. I've been quite enjoying it. So previously I had the RK Clutch keyboard, but then I think I spilled some water on it and I thought it was completely kaput. So I had to like re quickly replace it, but it turns out it's fine after it dried. <laughs> but I already bought this new keyboard and it's kind of cute. I was like kind of expecting it to be cute, but not like, oh my God, so cute, kind of cute, but it is. It is kind of like one of my favorite things right now. I think it's the 20th anniversary cinnamon roll keyboard, but this is what it looks like. I'll have a little clickety clackety kind of b-roll on top of this so you can kind of see what it looks like, but it's basically a cinnamon roll keyboard and it's just so stinking cute. It's pink, it's blue. I love the contrast. I think it like in terms of like the color wheel, they just, I don't know, they just look good together, you know? It's just the contrast is mm, oomph, so good. I, do you hear how that sounds? Hello, come on. That's beautiful. Here's the thing. I'm not a keyboard aficionado. I'm a keyboard enjoyer. Kind of a noob. So this sounds pretty good to me though, right? Previously, the RK Clutch, even though it was like pretty good for an affordable keyboard, it kind of like jiggled a little bit when I typed on it. And that's something I noticed with the other one, but not with this one. And it feels quite nice, quite clonk clonk, right? And there's a little switch right here on the top so that you can go ahead and turn down the volume, turn up the volume. So this is especially good sometimes because I, when I'm playing games, I just don't want to like, you know, click, 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 click. Uh, turn down the volume, you know? So this has been really useful actually in terms of functionalities for a keyboard. But this is so stinking cute. I really, really do love this. I did not expect to love this because I do not literally love cinnamon roll. You're like, girl, what are you talking about? You've got a cinnamon roll like keyboard. Like who, who are you to say that, right? But I just think this keyboard is stinking cute. My favorite Sanrio character is, I can never say their name right, but it's po po -cha po Chaco. And I also really love Kuropi the frog it's so stinking cute but cinnamon roll is, is, is kind of going up there now i don't know i've been influenced by this keyboard i've been enjoying cinnamon roll a lot more <laughs> but here i have this keycap from miss bulb on instagram and i saw her keycaps on instagram oh, they're they're so stinking good because they know they know what i love okay they know it they got me okay i'm a hoe for ghibli okay anything ghibli i was moving castle spirited away okay i love it i can't stop myself okay and when i saw this i really couldn't stop myself okay you know there's this one character in howl's moving castle that i feel is so underappreciated and you know who that is it's Heen, okay? It's the dog. I love that rug looking dog, okay? 
I feel like they're so stinking cute and they're so adorable and I don't think there's enough love for Heen, okay? There's love for literally every other character in House Moving Castle except Heen. Okay, we love Heen. Oh my gosh, Heen. No, you're too cute. Oh my gosh. And I love dogs. I have a dog. My dog is also my favorite not thing because my boy's a living dog, okay? But I really love this keycap because it's just so well made and not only that, the amount of detail on this little Heen keycap is insanity. I wish Heen had more love, honestly, you know? And not to mention, Miss Boba, the creator of this keycap, does a lot of Ghibli themed kind of keycaps. She also like gave me little stickers and it was so cute. And she also even has the birth date. So it's August 6th, 2023. Oh, that's so cute. Sleepy Heen. So stinking cute. Look at that. That's Miss Boba. You can go ahead and check her out on Instagram. I'll leave a link in the description. So next up, we have a set of items for back pain and just pain in general all over the body. I get a lot of back pain about like a week every month. And if you know, you know, okay, you got a cooch, you know, okay. So I get a lot of back pain during that period of time. <laughs> <laughs> that period of time, okay? It's not very comfortable. I don't get like serious, serious pains, which I'm very, very lucky, but I do get back pains all over my body. My neck is just all over sore. And so I really like to use this little back massager. It's this thing. I don't have like a massaging chair. I don't go to a masseuse or anything like that. I think this is good enough, okay? Saves me some money. And this it just basically allows you to go ahead and get a little back massage and just like have somebody like not somebody like a little robot kind of go woo, 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 woo. and it's been really really nice so i've actually been trying to wake up a lot earlier and it has not been super successful but the times that it has been successful is because of this thing okay so what i usually do is i'll wake up in the mornings and as soon as i wake up i'm a little groggy still so i just like get up and then i sit on a chair with this massager and i just turn it on and as it's kind of like massaging my back it's like kicking my not my ass but kicking my back okay it's basically going like and it's not super comfy at first <laughs> it actually really hurts and so you can't really completely shut off and go to sleep again and that's perfect because you want to wake up but it's also improving your back health and relaxing those muscles so it's a two for one and i've been really enjoying that but sometimes you really can't get all those like nooks and crannies and there's like other parts of your body that might be really sore maybe your leg after you exercise i do not exercise enough for that to happen it will, i'll get there i'll get there i go to the gym okay i've been exercising just not that hard um but i've been using this massage gun this is the one that my parents bought and they've been you love this thing so i love it too honestly it's a family heirloom now <laughs> Um, we use this basically on our feet, our backs. My mom loves using this massage gun right before she goes to sleep on her feet. She feels like it helps her like circulation and she just sleeps a whole lot better after she's like massaged her arms, her body. And oftentimes her arms or her legs or her hands gets numb and like it's hard to move sometimes after she uses her hands a lot. So she'll like massage her hands and that actually really helps relax a lot of the, the pain stiffness she has in her hands and her body so i've also been really loving this thing for like my neck sometimes because i get knots sometimes especially during that period of time of the month okay and this has been really great especially if you suffer from a lot of neck pain a lot of like nooks and crannies back pain but also places that you can't really reach with that, that back massager um this has really been really great i've been enjoying this quite a bit Ugh thumbs up man this has been great i love this thing <laughs> these are not all sponsored by the way i just really like them okay our family loves this back massager so next up i have some things that just like generally improve my life i think just things that make it a little bit clearer my sight maybe this is another thing my parents got okay so they were like going around getting some doodads and whatnot and I came upon this lens clear by Z-E-I-S-S, -S, Zeiss or something like that. I'm not sure. 
I don't know where they got this, but it's here in my hands now and it's freaking good, okay? I've just been using this on my glasses and you're like, why do you need that? You got a lens cleaner, like you can just clean that up, right? But the thing is, sometimes even after I clean with like a little cloth like this, it doesn't get everything because there's oil, there's like all this dirt and stuff, there's makeup sometimes, right? And it just gets all stuck up on there. Even though I, like, I wipe it a whole bunch, it doesn't completely clear it out. But don't spray this while you have your glasses on, obviously. But take off your glasses, okay? And then spray it a little bit. And then you can go ahead and get your little wipe and just like clean it off. And it completely clears out everything. It's seriously wonderful. I have never experienced clear vision in my life. And well, I had clear vision as a kid, but you know, <sighs> getting older has some setbacks. And another product that I've been really enjoying that is also something that clears uh, something on my, I guess, body, I guess, is this product. It's called Naturium, the Perfector Salicylic Acid Body Wash. And this is something I got from Target. I was going on a little Target trip with my friends, you know. We picked this up because my friend said that she saw this on TikTok and people were raving about it. And I was like, okay, people raving about it must be good okay so i got it because i do have pimples and back knee and i used it and i was like okay like how is it really gonna work is it gonna really do anything and i am somebody who kind of like picks at my pimples okay on my body especially and so this actually has been working because i've been noticing less pimples this has been doing the thing okay it kind of like evens out the skin there's like less bumps there's less like whiteheads and whatnot so i enjoy this definitely get it if you have a similar issue as me <laughs> now let's get into some of the shows that i've been really enjoying the last couple of months i have been diving into some k dramas and anime that i haven't been doing in the longest time i actually took a little bit of a break but i'm back in and we're gonna go ahead and dive in some of the K-drama and anime that I have been watching. Some of my faves. First up, we have See You in My 19th Life on Netflix. It's a Korean drama. It's basically about this girl who remembers each of her lives. So every time she passes away and gets reborn as another person, she remembers all of her previous lives so she's like lived through everything she's lived as like a man as a woman as a girl as a boy as a kid as a child in rich households in poor households in different countries other than korea and has a whole bunch of skill sets from her years of experience in all of her different lives so she's incredibly smart by the time she's in her 18th life okay but she's reborn and she doesn't remember anything until like about a couple years in i think around her eighth birthday or 10th birthday she just remembers everything from her previous lives up until then she was like a normal child who didn't remember anything prior to that okay but as soon as she remembers that everything else from her previous lives she becomes a lot more mature she just like has all these experiences and people are like how do you know how to flamenco dance or like how are you so good at all these things like how can you speak all these different languages and it's because she lived all those other lives previously but one day she meets this young boy that she's tutoring as a child and she kind of falls in love with this kid right and they're both children okay so it's all right it's a little still weird because like she's essentially pretty freaking old by the time because it's her 18th life you know she basically feels like like a child with this other kid and this boy is very unique and she's never felt this way before and so she falls in love she tells him like i've lived 18 lives okay and he's like what the heck unbelievable but one day a situation happens okay and she passes away obviously she's reborn but the boy is traumatized and he grows up and lives on and she's reborn as a young girl this time a very young girl okay and she's trying to like go back and find her lost lover from her last life and a whole bunch of things happen i will not get into it too much but it's really funny to see the interactions of this young girl who is incredibly young and she's like talking to her niece from her past life her niece was like a little kid but but in her current life her niece is like 50 years old or 60 so she's pretty old compared to the young girl who 
was like eight years old okay so it's kind of insane how she's like yeah call me uncle and she's like a little child <laughs> The show is like incredibly funny. I definitely recommend watching it. There's like definitely some more emotional bits of the show, but I think that adds to like the drama and the mystery of what's going on and why she remembers all of her past lives and what will happen and if she'll actually meet the love of her life again. I will not tell you that, but it's pretty good. I also watch an anime called Skip and Loafer. It's a slice of life anime and I love, 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 love it so much. It really reminds me of another show called Kimi ni Tudoke or From Me to You, which is another anime that's my all time favorite. It's one of my favorite things ever. I seriously love that show so much. The reason why I think they're so similar is that they're both about an outsider. So in Skip and Loafer, we have like this really quirky main character who is so smart. She is like top of her grade. She works really, really hard, but she is not really used to the norms of Tokyo and she moves from the country all the way to Tokyo to go to this new high school. And she has to figure out how to make new friends and adopt to this new life in Tokyo. But she's having a hard time at the beginning. Like she like rushes to school and it's just a really, really hard time because she doesn't understand the metro system in Tokyo because it's like kind of crazy over there. And she just gets lost. But then she meets this boy, a golden retriever kind of character. He's like very people pleaser underneath or something. A little bit mysterious about this boy, you know? He's hiding something. But he is completely enraptured by Mitsumi because Mitsumi is kind of like fun and quirky and she's like very like hardworking and he really admires that about her. But essentially Mitsumi and this new boy go to school, they become friends and along the way, even though at first nobody really likes her, she's kind of like a country bumpkin, she pukes on her first day at school. So she's completely an outcast. She makes a couple of new friends and at first people are like, you're kind of a weird girl. But after a while, they kind of notice that she's actually a super loyal, super awesome friend. And it's just incredibly wholesome because it doesn't just dive into like Mitsumi's like story. It also dives into all the other side characters as well. And over time, you can really see them improving their sense of worth and they just become better friends. It's incredibly wholesome and I really, really recommend it, especially if you ever watch From Me to You or you like Slice of Life kind of shows. It's more of like school life drama, slice of life drama, you know, nothing too crazy. It's quite fun. So definitely check that out if you enjoy that kind of anime and shows. I also wanted to mention this awesome, awesome gift from my friend Mora. Hello, this is past me. So my friend Mora, she sent this to me and we used to be like hanging out all the time in college and now we're far away from each other, but she sent me this really nice package to like celebrate 5,000 subscribers. She got me a pop figurine for my five oh oh it's fallen but the customized pop figurine of me myself and i was like oh that's so nice so let me go ahead and show it off but the, but essentially there's like a box and it has me Denise. that's me there's like a stand inside the box too and here is my figurine uh isn't that cool this is me glasses and everything and look i'm pointing i do that a lot i point a lot thank you mora i have been really really enjoying it i really 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 appreciated this gift because she like literally sent this right before i hit 5,000 subscribers and she even was like oh i sent this package like don't open it until you like hit 5,000 subscribers okay and then i was like okay 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 I won't, I won't open it, okay? I was kind of like wondering what this gift was all about and I opened it and I was like, what? Is this for reals? <laughs> that is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm making a huge mess, but like, wow, that's me. That's literally me. 
Thank you, Mora. This is so cute. So it's from this Etsy seller. I'll have it linked in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. Mora kindly like shared the link with me. So you can all check it out too if you have somebody you want a gift or something like that. But yeah, those are my favorites. What do you think? Hopefully you find something that you kind of enjoy. I don't know if this is the type of video you like but if you do like this type of video let me know in the comments or you know press the like button that really helps me to know whether you like the video or not i'd love to know in the comments i love hearing from you all i think it's really fun to kind of see what you all think about the video what do you think about the games that i've been talking about lately i feel like it's been a little hard for me to like keep consistent with my video schedule because work has been getting a little bit busier with my new job so i've been adopted to this new job and it has been a bit of a learning curve but once again i just really want to thank all of you for just sending me some of the nicest comments it has been so motivating for me to read those comments saying like oh i really enjoy your videos i don't know why you're not more popular i definitely think my videos need a lot of improvement but i really really appreciate those comments still they really motivate me to do better and continue to put out videos so thank you all so much and i'll see you in the next one bye